Welcome to another episode of Holistic Hearts. I am your host, Kristen Chadwick, and today is our final wrap-up day of walking through Song of Songs, and it's been such a beautiful, intimate journey to write encounters throughout these pages and to offer an opportunity for you to connect with your heart. That has been my whole goal this summer, and I hope that it has been a way for you to connect and to really have a heart-to-heart with Jesus in this capacity of knowing him as your bridegroom and really understanding the truth of your identity in him because that is the most important thing is to know who you are and know that you are known, seen, and loved. You are loved and lovable. And that has been my goal. With that, I just want to let you know that this will be my final encounter for this season. And with Holistic Hearts, I will be taking a sabbatical as you know, wholehearted living is my mission in life. And right now I'm feeling that the Lord is causing, calling me to take a pause and to just take a breath. And I know that there's so many opportunities here on this podcast for you to connect in the way of encounters. And so I would love it if you continued to share with me what has been speaking to you, which encounters you have really gone um, deeper in. And I would love to hear your stories. I'd love to hear how the Holy Spirit has been using the encounters. I would love to hear if you have your own encounters. That makes my heart so happy. So I just want to say thank you so much for all your support in these last gosh, it's been seven months since we've done done every week an encounter. And so with that, I just want to say thank you. And I will continue to pray for everybody who listens to Holistic Hearts to experience an encounter that let it be so. It will happen. He is so hungry for you to encounter him. And I couldn't do it without his creativity, his permission to jump in the creativity uh, river with him and be able to put these out every week. It is mind blowing. Only the Holy Spirit could do that. So, all right, without further ado, let's jump into chapter eight of Song of Songs. So in chapter eight, we kind of wrap up this huge celebration of this relationship between Jesus and the church, or as it's said in Song of Songs, the Shulamite and the bridegroom king. And I love how she even brings up, you've taken my old stories and you've made them beautiful. And then they end up singing together in this divine duet at the end which is just such a beautiful way to end this book. But first, I want us to use this time in our encounter to to really think about how Jesus has come for your heart these last few weeks or however long you've been doing these encounters. I want you to think back and this encounter is going to be a little different because I want you to just think about all of the ways that he has shown up for you in the last couple months and how he has spoken to your heart and just give him gratitude. He has shown you who you are, your real kingdom identity, and now you are fooling living into that identity. And just like the bridegroom or the bride, she begins to, because she's living into her identity, she is helping others see this beautiful love. And just like you are in your everyday life, when you know who you are, 
because you know who he is, you can begin to inspire others to be hungry, to know him in the way that you know him. So closing your eyes, I want you to think, like I said, of moments where he has connected to your heart. Maybe thinking back to the letters that he's written you. Or the letter that you wrote him in adoration. How you have made his heart skip a beat. And through spending time together in the spirit, how that has intimately brought you closer to him. Maybe there's old stories that have been transformed through these eight weeks. Maybe you started feeling unworthy of such ravished love. And now you are beginning to feel it crack open, those places in your heart that were hardened. Just celebrate in this moment. Worship him and how he has come for your heart. I'm going to read the last verse to you and just receive this and let your imagination just take you wherever. Holy Spirit is here and he will guide you. The bridegroom and the bride in divine duet. Arise, my darling, come quickly, my beloved. Come and be the graceful gazelle with me. Come be like a young stag with me. We will dance in the high place of the sky. Yes, on the mountains of fragrant spice. Forever we shall be united as one. What do you picture when you hear those words? Imagine Jesus and you both saying those words. Arise, my darling, come quickly, my beloved. Come and be the gazelle with me. Come be like a young stag with me. We will dance in the high place of the sky. Yes, on the mountains of fragrant spice. Forever we shall be united as one. Again, I've said this multiple encounters, but I want you to really picture every, every sensory response that is ignited when you hear the truth of this intimate love between Jesus and you, Jesus and the church, despite all the flaws, he sees beauty. He wants to dance with you. He wants to go on a chariot in the heavens and show you off. What does that look like? What does it smell like? If you're dancing on the mountains of fragrant spices, it's got to smell amazing. What do you hear? What do you taste?
What do you feel in your heart? And again, and finally, offer up worship and thanksgiving for a king who runs after your heart. I'm reminded of that song, the king of my heart. He's the mountain where I run, the shadow where I hide. Oh, he is my song. Friends, it's been such a journey and such an honor to guide you through these encounters. Again, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would move mightily among our church as a whole, not just in the building, but that you would come for your bride's hearts, the ones that are in the dark night, and the ones that are ready to go with you to the highest places and shout it to the rooftops. We thank you that you are relentless in your love for us. In Jesus' name, amen.